Evening, everyone. Do 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 do. We did it. 2017 Star Wars Stellar Signatures Random Hit Break Number One, the only one from JaspiesHobbyland.com. A very big thank you to everybody who won spots or joined breaks to win spots, uh, joined spot randomizers to win spots, and for those of you who bought spots straight up, thank you very much. If you have a little uh, carrot next to your name, little rooftop next to your name, that means you got a spot. Those are for spot randomizers, so congrats to you there. And then I started tagging where you won that uh, spot. That's from Elite Extra Edition and Draft were the ones we used. So there's everyone right there. So congrats to everybody. Thank you to everybody. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to open up. Every, everyone knows what's going to pop out of here. It's just a matter of what's the numbering going to be. There's going to be at least um, some lower numbered parallels in there that, that are included. Um, one other thing, there's 41 names on the checklist, but we only sold 40 spots. The reason why is because these are actually comboed together. Mark Hamill is a redemption, and according to CardboardConnection.com and Tops, Ben Mendelsohn is a bonus redemption shipped with Mark Hamill. So that's a combo. So when you get the Mark Hamill redemption, whoever gets randomized that, we'll also get a Ben Mendelsohn bonus. He's the uh, he's director Krennic from Rogue One. All right. So before we randomize, let's let's take a look. There's the case right there, all sealed up, all ready to go. So good luck, everybody. See, well, you'll be able to see me pop the tape and break the seal there. There we go. You're going to hear styrofoam sounds if you're bothered by that earmuffs. Almost like a like a blueprint type look, the Millennium Falcon. We're big, a lot of us are pretty big Star Wars fans here at JaspiesHobbyland.com, so this is something that that we we were very excited about when we got it. I'm glad we finally got to fill it up. There you have it. You got the Tops logo and information right here. We've got the Star Wars seller signatures right here. Now the box is not as fan is not nearly as fancy as the uh, as um, as transcended. It's just a regular kind of box. Uh, no, the box is not included. Maybe we'll save it for a giveaway someday. So it's just a this hinge type box here. And there are all of the cards. All right, so one, two, three, yeah, should all be there. Okay, good luck everybody. And no, I'm not keeping, I don't know what to do with this box. Not keeping it. I'm telling you, I, I, I've, I've kept, I've kept like, like national treasures boxes, like empty NT boxes and empty like flawless cases. You know what they do? They don't, they, they don't end up doing anything. I just end up giving them away again. All right, Let's start with. Nice Han Solo. Great autograph, Harrison Ford. Seventeen out of forty. 
Nice. Love the photography on there. Love the design. Nice, the on-card autograph. Are the bigger names on the left-hand side? Should we just start on this side first? There's Ashley Eckstein. That's Ahsoka Tano from the Star Wars uh, Rebels series as well as Clone Wars. She has a great storyline. Ashley Eckstein, for you baseball fans, Ashley Eckstein is uh, David Eckstein's wife. So I always said that it would be a cool place to to go have dinner with them. I can talk to her. I can bug her about Star Wars and bug David Eckstein about baseball. We've got Felicity Jones as Jen Urso from Rogue One. Four out of 20, 420. Nice. Next is Saw Guerrera. Two out of 20. It's Forrest Whitaker, did a great job in Rogue One. Next up is uh, Sharut Inoue. It's uh, Donnie Yen, 28 out of 40. Next up is Mon Mothma. That's Genevieve O'Reilly. 19 out of 40, Mon Mothma. This is Rogue One edition of Mon Mothma. Many Bothans. Captain Phasma. Gwendolyn Christie as Captain Phasma, 24 out of 40. I was hoping they'd expand more of her story in The Last Jedi, but... And we've got Chancellor Palpatine from the animated series. It's Tim Curry as Chancellor Palpatine. 33 out of 40. The animated series is really it's really good, folks. So if you enjoy if you enjoy Star Wars, get into the animated series. There's Anakin Skywalker. That's 10 out of 10, Hayden Christensen. Spoiler alert for you kids out there. There's Django Fett. 18 out of 40. Got Bodhi Rook. 23 out of 40. I think he's a... Uh, I want to say he's like from... Like he's English, I, I believe. And he is like a musician or something like that. It's like a hip hop producer or something. Maybe I'm mixing him up with someone else, but I'm pretty sure that's who he is. K2SO, 39 out of 40. Great character in Rogue One, enjoyed that. The Admiral right here, it's Ken Lung, 23 out of 25. Then we've got the Bendu. Tom Baker as the Bendu. Four out of twenty. Yeah, he is some sort. Of, he's like a mystical, a mystical creature from the animated series. He's sort of in between the the light and the dark side. There's animated edition of Obi Wan Kenobi. James Arnold Taylor as the voice. Fourteen out of twenty five. Um, great animated series, very enjoyable. If you want to check that out, you can pay. You can pay me, Disney, for the advertising on this. We've got Anakin Skywalker from the animated series, Clone Wars, eight out of ten. We've got Grand Admiral Thrawn. There we go, Lars Mikkelsen, one out of five. Someone's gonna get a train whistle for that Thrawn. In fact, let me write that down so I don't forget. Lars Mikkelsen, that is one out of five, nice. Um, the For you Star Wars readers out there, the, uh, the Thrawn book, 
quite good. There's Job of the Hut. David Barclay is Job of the Hut, six out of ten. It's pretty cool. We've got Ezra Bridger. That's Taylor uh, Gray. 35 out of 40 is Ezra Bridger. Part of Star Wars Rebels, great animated series. I believe they took a break, a uh, mid-season break for season four. Should be starting up pretty soon, if not already. We've got the uh, autograph card blue parallel of Steven Stanton. Uh, that's Admiral Raddus. Amon Calamari. Steven Stanton, autograph blue parallel. I don't know what the blue parallel is. Blue looks like it's out of 25. Next up, ah, the seventh sister, Sarah Michelle Geller. 14 out of 25. A great storyline in Star Wars Rebels. Sarah Michelle Geller in the mix as a voice in a, in a Star Wars series. It's canon, so you should watch it, Star Wars fans. Her husband is in it too, Freddie Prince Jr. There's the Mark Hamill. Nope, no parallel. So this will come with the uh, director crank, the Ben Mendelsohn. Next up is, nice, Princess Leia, RIP Carrie Fisher. 10 out of 40. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Lando Calrissian, I hope he ends up in a uh, Star Wars movie. 32 out of 40, maybe the next one after The Last Jedi. Come on, let's get Billy D. Williams in on the action. Come on, JJ. Let's do it. And we've got R2-D2. One of one, Kenny Baker. R2-D2. R2-D2, it is you, it is you. Nice. One of one. That's going to be a nice train whistle for someone. Nice. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca, 20 out of 20. There's Boba Fett. Jeremy Bullock is Boba Fett, 3 out of 20. These are really nice. Love, love how they're all encased up. There's a cool Star Wars sticker there. Very, very nice. Ah, wicked. There he is, 22 out of 25. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. General Veers. Julian Glover is General Veers. Four out of 25. There's Wedge, Wedge Antilles. Dennis Lawson as Wedge Antilles, five out of 10. Who was uh, uh, Ewan McGregor, was that his uncle? Ewan McGregor has an uncle that was a pilot. That was a, that was a rebel pilot in like A New Hope, I think. There's Chancellor Palpatine, Ian, Mc, uh, yeah, Ian McDermott, six out of twenty-five. There's Darth Maul, two out of twenty. Say what you want about the the prequels, but when the dual lightsaber thing, I know everyone's jaw dropped. Oh, is that right? Okay, so lost. This is. Ewan McGregor's uncle right here. There you go. Mark Bellinger confirming that. <laughs> That's all Matthew Wood had to do. Five out of 20. That was my excellent General Grievous impression. I know. So you guys are stunned. There's Ray. 30 out of 40. Daisy Ridley. Did a great acting job in The Last Jedi. 
Better than The Force Awakens. We've got Kylo Ren, 3 out of 40. Adam Driver also did a much better job acting-wise. I think he was okay in The Force Awakens, but... But better in The Last Jedi. There's Finn. Nice. 2 out of 25, John Boyega. We initially had him use his uh, original English accent, but then... J.J. Abrams is like, eh, I don't know if that works. Sounds too clean, too classy for a stormtrooper. Use an American accent. There's Supreme Leader Snoke. It's Andy Serkis, of course, 5 out of 25. Ah, oh, nice. BB-8. Brad Herring, BB-8, 5 out of 25. Was Finn his jersey number? Was it FN218? I wish it was. Chewbacca, this is uh, Jonu's version of Chewbacca. 14 out of 20. And last but not least is Kanan Jarrus. That's Freddie Prince Jr. 5 out of 5 on the Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. also does um, sports talk radio. Does like has has come on ESPN Radio and has filled in as a host here doing sports talk. He's a big sports fan. All right, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a nice, beautiful look at Star Wars Stellar Signatures. Nice stuff. All right. Well, let's see who gets what. Good luck, everybody. So let's go back to the list here. We've got a few train whistles in here. One of one. A couple out of fives. There are your names. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Two and a two for the hard way. Two and a two for the hard way. Names first. Good luck, names. One, two, three, and four. There you go, after four times. Rich, down to Ed Ramos. And I'll show you the list first, well, once I randomize you with the hits, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can know exactly what you, uh, what you got. It'll be a little bit easier to spot. All right, once again, two and a two, four times for the hits. One, two, Three and fourth and final time. After four times, we've got Sarah Michelle Geller in the number one spot, number one in my heart, maybe. Tom Baker in the number 40 spot. She still looks good. There you go. Good luck, everybody. So, Rich with the Sarah Michelle Geller. Nice. There's that right there. Karen, you got the Ashley Eckstein. EA Sports, it's in the game with the Kenny Baker R2-D2 one of one. EA all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And Daniel Patera, uh, Patera with the Lars Mickelson as Grand Admiral Thrawn. One out of five all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Scroll down here. Michael D with the Daisy Ridley. And there's the rest of you right here. There you go. Tyler Haynes. With the Freddie Prince Jr. as Kanan Jarrus, five out of five, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop! There you go, folks. All right, let me uh, let me make this a little bit easier for you to see. So let's sort by column A. All right, so Adrian, you got the Darth Maul. Harrison Ford for Alex Carmichael. He bought that spot straight up. Mon Mothma for Alex. Ashley with the Mark Hamill and the Ben Mendelsohn uh, redemption. That's the bonus card that'll come to you. There's what you got, Brian. Job of the Hut. Billy D. Williams for Chris. Curtis with Carrie Fisher. Curtis. Donnie Yen and Riz Ahmed. 
There's Daniel Patera. You got Felicity Jones in the mix, and Tim Curry, and Peter Mayhew, and Game of Thrones girl, Gwendolyn Christie, and the train whistle. That's a nice break for you. D Mac, Julian Glover as General Veers, Ed Ramos, Tom Baker as the Bendu. It's a good storyline in the series. There's the rest of yours, Eric. In, in addition to the one of one, the Forrest Whitaker, the Ian McDermott, Warwick Davis, uh, Jerris Matt Lanter as Anakin, and Matthew Wood, Johnny L, Brian Herring as BB 8, and Bubba Fett, Jeremy Bullock. Karen with the Ashley Eckstein and the Dennis Lawson as Wedge Antilles. That's uh, the uncle of Ewan McGregor. Mark, Ken Lung, and Alan. I don't. I never know how to say his last name. Tiddick, I think. K two S O. One of the great. One of the great droids. Droids in Star Wars legend right here. Uh, Mark Lasman with Tamara Morrison as Django. Hayden Christensen as Anakin, and the uh, voice in the animated series. James Arnold Taylor as Obi Wan Kenobi. Michael D. Daisy Ridley, nice. Rich, Sarah Michelle Geller, Rory, as the, I think, the new Chewbacca in the new new films right there. And Simon with the Andy Serkis and Stephen Stanton, Admiral Raddus. And Tyler, Adam Driver and Freddie Prince Jr. train whistle. Tyler T., John Boyega, and Taylor Gray for William. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What a great Star Wars seller signature break. Thanks very much. Um, oh, Holiday scratchers. So, but wait, there's more. Now we'll do that in a separate video. This is a Star Wars video. Let's keep it at that. Um, may the force be with you, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Every once in a while, we will we will get a bunch of Star Wars stuff and put it on the website. So please check it out. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.